You got any final thoughts for the show? Make jukes, not war. <laughs> can we edit that out? Nope. Nope. I had my game face I on. I think we can. Hello and welcome to what is a brand new cast. This is the 1995 Jeep Cherokee and is one I didn't think I'd like as much as I do as the card falls over as usual for the end of these videos. But um, this is quite a nice cast and if you don't particularly like Jeeps, which is really quite like me, um, you'll be surprised about how nice this cast actually is. So um, let's get it open and have a look. So... Uh, it is out and that colour just pops in the sun. It's sort of like a British grace and green sort of colour, it just looks amazing. Now of course, similar to the then Land Rover Discovery um, size sort of vehicle, it sort of went direct up against it, sort of a lifestyle vehicle. So things like the front bumpers have been changed to sort of a steel one with a winch on the front, which looks quite nice. I can't wait to see some details on this. Um, big over fenders, uh, some vents in the bonnet. Just nice details such as Cherokee badges, um, big LED life bars, and of course, continuation of the glass. We have a spade, some uh, grips for sand, and things like that. Just really nice detailed stuff, and that sort of thing really gets me into what a cast sort of can look like and sort of intricate details that you wouldn't have thought of, but they've really done well. Now, the base is relatively flat, as you can see. I'm sure most of it is meant to sort of model off like a skid plate. Meaning if any rocks hit it, it'll not go straight through into the body. It'll just stay nicely there so the chassis is protected and everything like that. Um, but one of my favourite things about this, which includes the base, is if you can see that in there, you can see the suspension is nicely moulded. Um, which of course doesn't work for you on the mid red. But it just looks very, very nice and really brings the cast together. Um, it's a little bit too sunny for my camera to focus up properly, but that's sort of the essence. And on the back you can see some big, big jerry cans and a massive wheel, which is actually um, the exact same wheel as on here. It's a bed lock, which I think really looks really nice. And of course lights on the back, which really ties it in together as well. And I love it when Hot Wheels do um, window decals. I think they look amazing. As far as Goodyear, Hot Wheels, and a few other bits and pieces. That we'll go on to when we look at the card art, which I should have done first, but well, we're doing it a bit backwards today. So that's the cast, one that is very, very fun to me. I really like these, I always have done. Um, of course, with the wing mirrors, the nicely molded body. I mean, the color is perfect as well, the color is absolutely spot on. So, um, I mean, all that's really left to see is let's have a look at the sponsors, and then after that, now this is my first long card of 2022, uh, of course, it being a um, international there is no case number on it but i believe this is um a round g case i'm not sure though i might be wrong uh logos on here are jeep and a few of bits based on that and a bunch of blabber not much difference to 2021 just a few differences like the hot wheels on the back here and um metallic spawn through clear not much just enough to make it look nice of course the jeep on there looking exactly how it does on card um which is another favorite of mine but uh, all that's really left to say is stay safe have fun of course stay jugging